Hello, thank you for watching another Team Holinger video. We're, we're here at Spa, currently, and we've got a spare car here. And I've, I've got some brains here, called Sebastian Wedgwood. Hello. Hello. Excellent. Um, right, so, KTM X4 GT4, I'll give a slight overview. I'll, try, I'll just start wandering around the car, and when I need help, you'll come straight in, I'm sure. Right, okay, so first thing that you can see on this car that you won't normally see on our car with bodywork on, for example, is the push rod actuated suspension. So we've got two wishbones uh, connecting the wheel via the upright to the car here. And these uh, wishbones then actually operate by pivoting on this axle here. And we've got a push rod operating this rocker. So all this rocker does is pivots on here, push, being pushed by a push rod and so the push rod then pivots this which then pushes the spring and damper here and I'm now going to go on to Seb to talk about how sensitive that area of the car is and how difficult it is to actually get you know get the car in its niche okay so yeah the suspension is an interesting area of the car um, as an engineer our main tools to, to setting up the suspension are first of all the spring so when it comes to suspension you have a shock absorber made up of a spring and then a damper. Now the spring's job is to hold the car off the ground and you can choose different stiffnesses of springs. So in the European GT4 we have three homologated sets. So in this example we have 120s on the front but if we wanted to go softer we'd have 80. Um, we also have uh, the damper itself. Now these dampers are manufactured by WP and they're three-way adjustable. What that means is you can adjust the damper in low speed compression and rebound and also in high speed uh, compression. Um, you'd adjust that by the little adjusters here, so there's one at the top and two at the bottom. And you're effectively winding a screw in to reduce the, th the flow through the damper, and then each click you take it back, you're effectively uh, allowing more flow, so you're softening the car. 